Hi guys, my name's Adam. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to a blustery work commute. <laughs> Quarter to five in the morning. On our way back into work. Tuesday the 11th, I think it is. Something like that anyway. <laughs> After the bank holiday weekend. We had some cracking weather didn't we? Friday, Saturday, Sunday and then Monday it turned to crap. Monday it was a typical uh, bank holiday Monday here in Britain. In Little Bolton. Can hear it's quite windy. We're off up to uh, more Perth, up to the northeast this morning. Stuck past Newcastle. Some piling, some concrete piling on is what we're delivering today on the truck. I was busy all weekend. Um, Splitting the kids' bedroom into two bedrooms. My eldest daughter, um, Aaliyah, she's 25. Obviously, she has her own room, and then Kaylee and Lucas, the younger ones, they were at that age, they were definitely, well, probably been at that age for. 12 18 months really where they need separate rooms so finally got round to doing it got quite a bit done to be fair over the four days considering building the bunk beds and framework and using and plasterboard in and putting electric sockets in for them and moving the lights and building a door frame and well, it's part of a false wall. The bed is part of the false wall as well. I'll put some pictures up, easier to explain, but the bed's part of the false wall. So Lucas comes in through the original door of the bedroom into his room. And then he's got his room, he'll have his computer desk and drawers and all that once it's all sorted out. And then he's got his bunk bed ladders up to the top bunk. And Kaylee will have to just come into Lucas's room through the original door, then through the new false wall and door we've put in into her room. And she's got the drawers and the telly on top of that, and her bed is on the bottom bunk. And then obviously it's plasterboarded like a false wall at the top where Lucas's bed is, and Lucas's is plasterboarded at the bottom where Kaylee's bed is to give them that privacy in their own space which is not a very big space but to be honest it's bigger <laughs> it's a bigger space than what me, Nicola and Aaliyah had for the first I don't know, what was it? 3-4 months of Nicola's life Nicola's life, what am I talking about? Aaliyah's life when um, when Nicola fell pregnant with Aaliyah a little box room at home and that's where we lived for about three or four months before I managed to get the house and I got it well, it might have even been about six months actually but by the time I got it in a state for us to move in a fit enough state for us to move in we lived in a tiny little box room three of us <laughs> little Moses basket at the side of our bed this is break happy isn't he this guy this morning So yeah, they've got more room than that. <laughs> oh my gosh, things you have to do. Eh? So that was my bank holiday weekend, all weekend as well. Finished it yesterday, did, yesterday, well, finished it, I'm saying finished it. We got it done enough, door hung and everything else. 
to a, to a standard where they can uh, sleep in it and all that and I'll have to just continue doing bits over the next few weekends and then get it skimmed and decorated Went out for a mountain bike ride, well a couple of mountain bike rides Stick a couple of clips up of uh, the mountain bike ride As you can see I have a, <laughs> a quite an enjoyable mountain bike ride as you can see from that footage and then um, did a run yesterday so about seven kilometers six of that was just like normal uh, my normal run and then about a kilometer interval training we were sort of sprinting balls out, well, as much as I can. I'm not that bad, but obviously. <laughs> Getting on for 45, I'm not the fastest sprinter in the world, but I was sprinting as hard and as fast as I could, for as long as I could. And then slowing it down to a jog. Just getting my breath back and then sprinting. Probably did it about five, maybe six times. Obviously the sprint's got... The sprint's got shorter and shorter, but I'm going to introduce a bit of that into me, uh, into me running. A bit of interval training at times. It's supposed to be good for when I do that Peak District mountain bike challenge. 
which I'll stick a link in below. I'm doing it. It should have been not this weekend, the weekend after. But because of um, lack of interest, or basically, well, yeah, basically, yeah, lack of interest, didn't get enough people signed up in time, they've put it back to October. But at least it gives me a bit more time to get myself in shape. <laughs> it's a 43 mile um, Peak District off road mountain bike challenge, and it's grueling. It is grueling. I'll stick another link in. So a bit of that. Yeah, so as you can see, it's quite a grueling mountain bike challenge I've got to do there. So I've got to get myself in. I'm in good enough shape to probably manage to get round, but you know I don't want to be just managing to get round. I want to get round comfortably. So I'll up the ante on the bike. I'll, I'll up the time on it and the mileage on it. You know when we start getting into like August, September, ready for the challenge in October, and just keep myself uh, getting fitter and fitter over these next few months. But yeah, if you want to, uh, if you want to sponsor me for that, I'll uh, stick the link into my GoFundMe page. I'm trying to get up to about three hundred pound. I think I've got about 120, 130 in it up to now. So if anyone would like to sponsor me, I'll uh, be grateful. Anyway, guys, it's that time again for me to go into work. I hope you all had a great weekend. All look after yourselves. Have a great week. Ride safe, stay safe. I'll catch you all in the next one. Bye for now.